What's up, friends? It's your girl, Emily Curl, back here in our New York studio. We are live on Twitch. We're so happy that you're all joining us. Today, we are joined by two members of the multi-platinum group, Shine Down. We have Zach and Brent here Hi. with us. Can we give it up for Zach Hi. and Brent? What's happening? Uh, we have all of our crew here, and we already have so many We got people. a laugh track back here. Where's we he do. at? <laughs> Producer <laughs> Dylan. <laughs> ah, see? There it is, right there. We got a lot of first-time chatters, so shout out to Terry. You said somebody six, just, six, like, six, downloaded this specifically, downloaded Twitch specifically for this. We do. Miss Lady Tibbs is here. Let's see. Who is the one? Yeah. So okay. That, what was Ed, that? Ed Lanes. Lanes. Yeah, Lanes03. I downloaded Twitch specifically for this. That's awesome. Shout out to you. Shout out to shout you. Shout out. We have a first time. Is that chatter. cool to say shout out? Yeah, still? yeah I still say it. We were talking <laughs> about emojis not, a minute ago. Like, what's, what, cool, what's, what's not what's cool? What's not cool these days anymore? I, I don't know. I don't need to learn a whole new lingo. Can we still say shout out? I like I shout, think out. shout out. Uh, yeah. We've made that decision right okay, here and right did, now. Did you shout out is still cool to say. We're right. the culture makers now. Ha yeah. ha. Mm. <laughs> Um, okay, we were saying because you guys, do you ever use the words like Riz now? Do, like, have you adopted that into the vocabulary? No, 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 not at all. Or mid. Yeah. Or mid. Or mid. There's Riz and mid. I don't know what the other ones are. Um, we got. Well, we have a long list. Okay, so if anyone has any words that Church. they want to ask, um, what? Lady Tibbs says hi, love Turnt? you guys. Church. 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 Oh, like that? Like someone's telling the truth? Like yeah. The, yeah. Oh, okay. Ooh. I'm cool. Mm. <laughs> okay, Miss Lady. What is it you used to at the end? You go like praise God. Oh, yeah, praise God. That's Theo Vaughn, though. God. You got that yeah. from. Oh, yeah. I oh, yeah. Love Theo Vaughn. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shout out yeah. to Theo. Yeah, shout out to my boy. Theo's Theo. in the chat. We'll get him in. Um, okay, so obviously a lot of you guys are in here. Thank you so much for being here. Send in your questions. You can ask. We have Zach and Brent here, of course. So as we go, we'll... Um, you know, talk to you guys, chat more. The last time I saw you guys was at our Alter Ego Festival, mm -hmm. was which there. was, yeah, which was so fun. Did, did you have a good time? Coast How to was coast. That? And we're back here. I had the best time. Yeah. You were so nice and warm and inviting. It was chaos back it there. It was chaos. It yeah. was just like bang, 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 bang. But it was, it was not, we had a lovely chat. We did. It was nice. We really did. It was and cool. It was my first time at Alter Ego. Oh, was it? What'd you think? I thought it was fantastic. Yeah. I got to, uh, Help uh, Booker and and Stryker uh, introduce and they're Bush, so great. which was cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Were you interviewing people? No, I didn't get to do that. Well, I mean, I was being interviewed, but yeah. I wasn't interviewing people. Okay. Right. Yeah. But I had a great time. Okay, I'm so glad that was such a fun a fun show. Um, okay, Miss Lady Tibbs, let's kick us off with a fan question. Wants to know, do you have any plans for new songs coming up? Let's talk new music. Miss Lady Tibbs wants to dive right in. We were talking about that earlier. We were talking today. about that earlier. We will start. We have not, everyone thinks that we're joking, so we have not written a new song yet, but we will. Well, it'll, it'll start soon enough. Really? We, Why, just I mean, like having a nice little hiatus? Every... No, I mean, no, we haven't had really much time off. We've been kind of doing this thing with Symptom, but no, we, um, we did a two and a half year tour pretty much, so we'll start writing, I bet, in the next probably six to eight weeks. Oh, I can okay, see us exciting. doing that, and then we'll start, we'll, we'll kind of from there navigate what it's going to be and, and when it's going to come out and all that stuff. We never really know till we're about halfway through, and then... The tough part is you never know when you're halfway through. <laughs> you have to eventually like, like circle it. Down. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah. you eventually got to be like, like, this is the end yeah. point. Right. We'll write forever, so we got to give ourselves some sort of like end end mark for well, sure. Well, you mentioned a symptom. A symptom of being human is is your song that your fans have loved and connected with. What about that song? Was that one that just gone? Did you know what was going to be as special as it gift. was? Yeah, that In one came quick. Ways. Yeah, yeah, that was a gift. It was written uh, quite quickly. Uh, the beginning of the process of what would become the Planet Zero record, but I'll be honest with you, I think maybe we've had like maybe three gifts in our career, and a gift is kind of a song that just writes itself in a mm. lot of ways. It kind of uses you as a vessel to be born, because uh, it's necessary. I think 45 is a gift, I think Second Chance was a gift, wow. um, and I think Symptom is a gift. I think because it's a necessary song, we feel like it's an important song, um, but yeah, you, you don't always get those when you're in the studio. Because you're never walking into a studio, at least we don't, and say you're walking in there to write music because you want to be famous. You're walking in there to write music because you have something to say. And I feel like your songs are always so purposeful. Like, that's yeah, one thing like that you guys so. do so well. Darkfall Dev wants to know, do you... Whoa, whoa, who? <laughs> Darkfall, Darkfall Dev. Shout out. Yeah. A first time chatter. <laughs> I would love to see Brent work Twitch on his own oh my so gosh. bad. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Just uh, I like how it's all color coordinated. Right, though. this is nice. Yeah. Um, do you have a targeted sound going into the next record? Or will it be a completely open floor? Yeah, that's what we've talked about. The, the latter, just no being completely open. Yeah, like we don't. You know, I'll kind of talk to him like, hey, what, what kind of direction are we going? I mean, it was probably a month ago when he was like, no direction, just, just start writing. And so that's kind of what we've been trying to do. I think we're just 
we have no roadmap for this. And we never, I don't know if we ever really have. I mean, last yeah, I two records ask. were conceptual. They, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, the okay. second one, Planet Zero, was, we went in attention, attention after like four songs. You're like, all right, this is going somewhere. And it's a concept. I don't think we really realized that Planet Zero was a concept until after it was done and we put mm. the songs together and like, oh, this this is a story is what, from right, start to finish. Right. And this, we, we're going to try to go as far away from that as we can. So. Yeah, well, because we're always an open floor anyway when we go in there. We have a lot of different influences. I mean, the style of music, we've always looked at it, you know, rock and roll is a spirit, if you will. Rock and roll is a, kind of a way of life. It's an attitude more than anything. Mm -hmm. But it's never really been with us. Like, it's not about pop music or rap music or hip hop or, you know, metal or country. It's about all music. So yeah. there's a lot of things as far as like sounds, structure that we're inspired by. It's not good to like put yourself and back yourself into a corner because you yeah. don't know what you're going to be feeling that day. So just go with it. And and explore good, creatively, yeah. And a, good, good, and a good song is a good song. So if you can explore that so creativity-wise and make a good song, it doesn't matter what the genre is, I think. Mm -hmm. We all connect to good songs no matter, you know. I, I, when I was a kid, I knew people that didn't like rap music like I did, but Gangster's Paradise came out and you hear that hook, and you're like, oh, I like this. You're like, yeah. And it's like, so if, I think if a good song is going to stand up no matter what the genre is. Yeah. Okay, Sandy Yelville, I'm Shinedown wants to know, will you be adding any plans to tour Arkansas or Texas this year? Nope. Yeah, we love y'all that much. Nope. <laughs> I don't know. We can't really say it's early in the year. Sure, we can say no. Okay. No? <laughs> Arkansas gets the shaft. <laughs> no, We're I just think Texas. we I think we're gonna, we have so much other things to do. Like, this is definitely a creative year for us, and I know that we said we were only going to do, like, a certain amount of shows. So, I don't know. If something comes up. If we, we can come to your house. Yeah, yeah. And we'll play your house. And we'll come Brent to Arkansas or Texas. Yeah. Let's yeah. go. Sandy Yelville's down for that. Okay, Miranda Ray 82 wants to know, what What's the reason you guys started speaking so speaking so openly about mental health? Which that's such a great question. I think that it's something that we all go through. I mean, as a band, we've been a band together for 20 years, so it's like we get. A, I always tell people we get along better than most bands I've ever been around. But there's a reason for that. We talk about it. Mm. If me and him have a problem, like we're going to talk about it right then. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like you know we've it, it ebbs and flows. You're in a marriage that's, you know times four, you know, and you're trying to, to narrow that down and, and, and get to the root of problems all the time. But honestly, and then seeing like how it was, we've been doing this for 20 years, talking about mental health and songs. I and mean, if you go all the way back to 45, I mean, that's a song about mental health. Mm. So I think that it became important to us that we've had people go through and we've lost people to it. And, you know, I think for us. We always looked at it was the dynamic to not run away from your feelings and your yeah. emotions. You have to kind of take that head on and mm -hmm. you're allowed to evolve. You know, going back to symptom for a minute, that's totally about understanding that you're allowed to have as many human moments in your lifetime. It's a yeah. journey and we're all a work in progress. So um, not every song that we do is built off of mental health per se, but the dynamic is we're all, there's a journey that is bestowed in front of us and we have to kind of figure out what path we want to go down, but you can also evolve. So I think the mental aspect, I'm way more, I'm so proud of society being open to talk about their feelings because you can't read, you can't read each other's mind. You got to talk about it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. we kind of grew up, we grew up in a time where it's like, no, just push it down until you <laughs> explode. Yeah, kind of. It's like now, you know, now it's knowing that like there's people out there that you can talk to and like even like, I mean, therapy's helped me so much in mm -hmm. my life, especially in the last year and a half. So, like, it's, I think realizing that it's it's not a taboo thing anymore. You don't have to feel weird to say that you, you go to someone and talk to them about mm -hmm. your mm -hmm. life and what you're going through. Because, you know, I think just even the bounce off, even if the, if the therapist doesn't tell you anything, just getting it out to someone helps. Yeah. What is it feeling like at y'all's shows? Because I know you openly talk about these things on stage. You sing these songs that the audience is so connected with. What is the feeling like in the room? Or even if you get a chance to talk to fans, like what is that like for you guys? Our goal is, you know, when they walk into the event that we're at, um, our goal is to have them float out. Yeah. So we I mean, try to reinforce positivity and confidence more than anything. You know, we, we also talk about the fact that, you know, it can always be, um, you know, every day is going to have its... Life is going to have different challenges no matter what. I think that there's a definite high level of unity at a Shinedown show. It, it's kind of known that, you know, we'll go out, we'll kick into the first two songs, kind of get everything going, and then I'll always tell the audience to look to their left and look to their right and, uh, you know, high-five the person next to them, shake their hand, introduce them, 
you know, introduce yourself to everybody. And so that you're kind making of, friends at a shiny. Well, you're show. breaking yeah. the ice. Yeah. <laughs> you're breaking the ice to let everybody in the room know that you're all here together and you're celebrating music and being around. Yeah, I feel like too. Like he's. I say this about you when you're not around. Oh, okay. Letter, like, <laughs> but I feel like he's his. I feel like when he goes into a show, he's trying to make people be able to leave through the roof. You know, and that's like something that's very good about us. I said this the other yeah, day in an interview. Um, if you really think about it and you really break it down, like him getting able to shake everybody's hands, like a show is maybe the last place on earth where everyone's there for the same reason. Everyone's there to have a good time. Like there's no, no one's there having a bad time, yeah. I feel like. And yeah. so like even at a movie, like I'll go to a movie and go, I don't like this movie. Like, you know <laughs> what I mean? Like, and then I'll, that's like a bad vibe, right? You shouldn't do it. But like in a show, that's the last place on earth where like everyone is there to have a good time there to feel bad they didn't show up to be in a bad mood so like that is the last great safe place to me i think this is so you guys are getting this, the nicest comments Beto says i love that song a symptom of being human Thanks. jacob says i often introduce people going through a rough time in their lives to symptom it's helped quite awesome. a few people including myself um Thanks. Miss Lady Tibbs says, Shine Down Miracle has become my favorite, my all-time favorite song. Wow. Whoa. I haven't heard but that song. We know. tried to play it once. <laughs> <laughs> we, did, wait, we did that at the, in the live room. At we did it. Studios. Oh, sorry. We did it at the live we room. We did a good job, We too. tried to play it live one time, and he got to, like, the 10th word and looked at me and goes, you got to sing this. <laughs> and Aww. I just started singing. Well, to be fair, though. What are the words? You wrote them. To be fair, though, we did a, we did a, a residency in Orlando one time, and with the third oh, night, shoot. the third night, instead of, like, making a set list, we handed out paper and pens to the entire crowd, and it was request only. Oh, the wow. The whole show. And so I said, Miracle. He was like, yeah, we'll do that. And then he starts singing. <laughs> and he's like, looks at me. He's like, you what, what's singing. the most requested song when it's something like that? Lady oh, so well, divine. Yeah, yeah. Like a weird song that we don't play. Well, here's what we did. We came out and we played Simple Man first. And we were like, all right, now that we got that out of the way, let, what do you want? And then all these signs came up. I think Burning Bright was a really big one. Yeah. A lot of people want to hear that oh, one. Rosalie said, on days when I'm rough to myself, I play Brilliant to kick myself back into the game. That's my favorite song One of my song favorite on songs, record. yeah. Really? Yeah. That is my favorite song Okay, so we have a love, a love for Brilliant. Miracle is getting even more love as well. All right. Interesting. Miss Lady Tibbs says yeah, that. Miss Lady Tibbs so, is she up loves in this it. chat. Yeah, her, she's her a... kids fell in love with the band. <laughs> yep. Downloaded Twitch. Yeah. She's on there like, I got this. Can we get Miss Lady this. Can we get Miss Lady Tibbs a hand massage after yeah, this? Yeah, she's and an endorsement. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yes. Like a Twitch endorsement. Yeah. Are you a Twitch partner? Yeah. Or is that that's what it's called? You, <laughs> you might want to cash in. <laughs> I'm trying to cheat. I'm trying to like read. Them uh, yeah, no, this is so fun. Shine down concerts are like a family reunion. It never felt more welcome and accepted. It was a great experience. That's all. That's that's what we go for. Yeah, that's Aww. what we want. That's what we want everybody to feel like. Yeah, and man, A. Rogers says your shows are incredible. Thank you. Thank you, Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> We'll bring him in the studio We see next. him a lot out, the, out there now. Um, so I know we kind of touched on this, but you said, so new music maybe in this next year. Yeah. Some shows happening. Like, what's what's the full rundown? Give us the Shine Down update. Um, we're doing a lot of radio things, obviously, for this song. And then um, we're, we, we plan to go write probably in the next couple of months, start writing, and then we'll just keep doing that throughout. We have shows. I think our first couple shows are in June. Mm -hmm. We got some in July and August, and I think there's one more we haven't announced yet. Wait, and you're also playing Rock Fest. We are with yeah. Jelly Roll. And yeah, y'all are, are close with Jelly Roll, right? Yeah, no Jelly Roll. We wish it was the years. same day, but it's not. not oh, it's not the same, day. same yeah. day. Jelly Roll gets his own day now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. last time we played, Jelly. gets his own day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Listen, that guy is. I mean, what can you say? Like, I've known that he's guy incredible. over ten years. He's no one of the way. Yeah. Oh no way. He's one of the sweetest people I've ever met, and like. It doesn't deserve to happen to a better person than that guy. Like, cause I've even me. Like, I'll have a bad day sometimes. Like that dude doesn't have a bad day. Like, who mm. you? Like when you meet that guy and he's like this guy who just brings you in and hugs you even though he's never met you. The dude, yeah, that's who he is. He is By the way, if you ever get an opportunity to get a hug from Jelly Roll, it is best hug you're ever gonna get. <laughs> best hug in life. There is Hands down. no better hug. <laughs> okay, Dark Ball Dev wants to know: Are you bringing the suits back on stage? They always, there's always a chance for them to come back. You're sure. never going to, like, look back at that and go, um, you know, with the suits that they, that was, I think it was Eric said, we're never going to look back and yeah. be like, that was a bad idea. And that's probably the yeah. only look we'll never look back on and be like, that wasn't a bad idea. <laughs> oh, yeah, because there's some other ones. There's some, listen. Like, that was a really bad this man, idea. This man dressed like Mad Max about 12 years ago and didn't tell any of us. Yeah. We all showed up and other stuff. Yeah, I think the suits will always be around. They'll, they'll, they'll always come in and out. Yeah, I love that. I love that. Okay, last comment in on right. is it's so cool hearing a Shinedown song on the Top 40 radio. 
for a symptom of being human. We agree. So exciting. So we're honestly, we're so excited for you guys. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for being a part of Twitch. You guys, again, you have the best fans. This is they're be great. Cool our see. fan base, our fan come, base come is back and very. Stay longer with them. Yeah, we please. will. They'll be back. Thank guys. you. Thank you guys so Thanks much for being here. Thanks, Thanks Twitch. for watching one more time for Zach and Brenda. Yeah. Shut down. I twitched. And Miss Lady Tibbs. Thanks, Miss Lady Tibbs. <laughs> you roll. Endorsement to Twitch. Get somebody around those hands. Up. Thanks so much for watching. Did you like that video? You can check out more over here and don't forget to subscribe to iHeart right here.